and welcome to AC TV. This is Habiba Abu Zaid. AC's Ultimate Frisbee team has officially began its season with the Winter League competition winning a total of two games out of three until now. The league takes place from October until December with each team playing an average of game every two weeks. The team is set to play a total of seven games against seven different teams from all across Egypt and is hoping to improve its status from the last year's league. Okay, so uh, last season uh, we lost at the final. Uh, somewhat we felt down because we were expecting to win that league. But uh, for this uh, season we feel like that we're prepared and we're ready for the challenge and the games that are coming. After finishing the Winter League, the team will be preparing for the MENA tournament, which will be featuring countries from all over the Middle East. The team trains three times each week in full power, excited and determined to make their team captain very proud this season. Meanwhile, AUC Venture Lab orients an event to AUC bringing together some of the startups from the acceleration programs with different members of the AUC community. The startups are in the fields of fly tech, e-commerce, energy, creative industries, and healthcare. They happily provided insights about the products and services. In addition to some choose their exhibits, their work, hand out free samples or vouchers while exploring customers' insights. In order to encourage the students to pass by the booths, there were a random prizes draw for including JBL speakers, power banks, FIFA 20 game, and AirPods. Attendees got to receive tokens from the startups to be able to participate in to draw. جدا بفكرة الايفنت بتاع فانشر لاب ومبسوطة ان الانتربرنرز كانوا very dedicated و very passionate وهم بيعملوا شغلهم وفكرة الجيفتس والسبينينج ويلز دي كانت انسنتف كويسة جدا ان احنا نبدا نشارك في موضوع وانا شخصيا ويلنج قوي ان انا ابدا افكر ان انا اعمل ماي اون ستارت اب. Students showed high interest and entrepreneurs were very welcoming and were very proud to exhibit their work and to present their initiatives and ideas. On another note, for the first time in AUC, the show host Radwa Sherbini came to meet and take questions directly from the AUC community. She came during the Insiders AUC opening ceremony on Monday, October 28th at 1 p.m. in Al Alfi Hall. Radwa shared her personal experience leading up to her hosting her popular show on CBC Sofra called Hey Bas. The guest is widely known for discussing controversial topics related to women's rights and problems. That is why most of the attendees were females. I just feel like it's a nice event. And I also like Radwa Shirmini. I feel like it's a nice event. So, this is the most important thing that made me come. And the organization of the event is a nice event. <laughs> Hosting events such as this is great experience for the AC community to be able to meet and interact with well-known TV presenters like Radwa. Moving on to events happening on campus, entrepreneurs and AC alumni hosted an event on October 27th at the AC Gardens titled Made in Egypt. Made in Egypt event gave the opportunity to more than 70 startups to showcase their products and innovations to the AC community. This event offered ultimate shopping and networking experience. It then allowed buyers to be more aware of Egypt's unique products. <laughs> I'm proud that uh, I'm in this fair today. There's a lot of varieties that are made in Egypt, which I can uh, go to with cheaper prices and a very good quality. There's skincare, food, and multiple of products that I can buy with, uh, with, with really good quality and with even cheaper cost than things that uh, I go buy at the mall. The AUC community was attending this event to get more knowledge about how creative the products are made in order to know how to be creative in generating a product. The booming businesses of Made in Egypt had in store for the AUC community from fashionable purses and accessories to delicious food trucks and designs. Cairo was hit by heavy rains on October 22nd, causing traffic mayhem, flight delays and school closure. The American University in Cairo, however, decided to continue operating normally on Wednesday, October 23rd, after the Prime Minister had issued a statement requiring schools and universities to close due to weather conditions. Students were shocked by the decision, considering that the streets have been blocked since the night before.
live in Dui, so it's quite a hassle in me. I spend three hours going to uni and three hours back and whenever there is rain, that tends to be what happens. I get motion sickness spending time in the bus, but I do it anyways. Go to uni for two hours, spend six hours in transportation, absolutely unbelievable. They just don't have a consideration for any of the students here when they came to make that decision. It was super annoying. So, uh, the student union exchanged emails with the administration regarding the safety of the students. Classes ran normally, however, many students did not show up. And to conclude, last week's AUC's Developers Incorporation Club announced the hosting of the movie El Momar, screening and discussion. The club announced the news on various social media sites, especially on AUC's Facebook pages to maximize its reach to AUC students. The movie, having received great feedback from the Egyptian public, was also screened on the television on the 6th of October, Egypt's Armed Forces Day, and so the club wanted to know that ASEANs thought about it. Okay, it was uh, basically a historical movie, and now it's the first war movie to happen in Egypt in the last 20 years, but it was very successful. It's historic, too, so it relates to our problem. The event has planned to invite many of the main characters from the movie and will be hosted by the prestigious TV presenter Yasmin al Khatib. That was all for our news bulletin today. Please stay tuned for our interview segment. In our interview segment today, we have the winner of the Roger Hatchewell Academy and AUC student. She is the first Egyptian to attend and win the RHA among 40 students from across the globe. Today we have Habiba Weli with us. Hi Habiba, welcome to our show. Thank you, hi. So uh, can you please start by telling us more about the uh, competition or how it started? Uh, well, I first heard about the competition or like I knew about it through a post on Facebook and I, was, I didn't really know what that was. Um, but I applied because it said that there's like a five-day learning program about marketing and this is what I was interested in and so I applied my CV um, and I went to the workplace that was assigned for us to go meet to actually uh, participate in the competition. Um, we were 10, first we were like 10 students and we were tasted, uh, tested based on our creativity through many exercises that also assessed our personality. Um, after which we were then narrowed down to three, um, three students, which and then we had to do a video explaining why we should be the ones to go to the Roger Hatchwood Academy. Um, so we all made videos, and the judges from the Cannes Nines Festival chose based on the videos. So starting with the competition, you didn't know that you were actually going to submit a video, is that right? Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. You didn't know. So how did you feel when you knew that you had to submit a video? Uh, I was really overwhelmed because I had never done anything like that before. Mm -hmm. So it was my first time to actually produce a video or like... Okay, story. so since it was your first time, how did the idea come to you? Um, well, the video, um, like I'm a huge Friends fan, the series, mm -hmm. and so before I started um, like I bounced off some ideas with my, my parents and they were all very generic like I should talk about uh, what I've done in my life and stuff like that and then I think like I watched fr uh, the episode of Friends and then it hit me like okay I can make it in a fun way and it's something that I'm really passionate about or like I love and I've watched it every day mm -hmm. so this is where the idea came like I could put, um, sort of tell them about myself through the episode mm -hmm. in a fun way I guess. Okay, so um, can you walk us through the process of doing the actual video? Like, um, as we can see, you uh, made the video with uh, uh, some of your friends. Yeah. Um, so how was that like? What process did you go through? Um, I mean, no, they're my cousins, and so I just called them up. I told them I want to do a video for this competition. Mm -hmm. This is my idea, and I'm sure they've all watched Friends, and they loved it. Mm -hmm. They love it as well. So I called them up, and they were all like, yeah, it's such a great idea. Let's meet. And we actually met here in the dorms in mm -hmm. AUC mm -hmm. um, with my own like personal camera. We just filmed it. Mm -hmm. um, then we edited out all the different in all the parts that just we're mixed up mm -hmm. and this is how like it all came together it was just it all happened in one day like mm -hmm. we came to the university we were gonna film it we finished in one day and it was just I don't know 
Um, did you face any kind of complications during the shooting process? At first, we thought the quality of the camera itself, or like the video, wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. But then I, I thought that it was about the content itself, and so we just tried to adjust the lighting as as good as possible. And the setting obviously wasn't the same setting as it was in the series, but mm -hmm. we just made it work with what we have. Okay, so uh, based on what you're telling me, you weren't actually expecting to win the the um, the competition, is that right? Yes, I had no idea that this video was gonna actually get me into the mm -hmm. like to go to the can. First. So uh, can you? Tell us more about the moment you found out that you won the competition. Yeah, I remember I was getting ready to go to uh, university in the morning. It was like any other day. And then I got a call from one of the people that were actually holding the competition here to select people from Egypt. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you won. And then I just, uh, yeah, I didn't say anything for a second because I didn't think I heard her right. Mm -hmm. And then I started, I was like, oh my God, thank you. And my parents were still asleep, I remember. And so I woke them up and like the entire house was celebrating that I actually won the competition because it was the first I, t I was the first one from Egypt so. uh, okay so um, if you have the chance to go back and do it all over again would you change anything I don't think so because like I faced some obstacles on the way especially with the video because I actually shoot shot a four minute video and prior to the deadline like two hours I realized that it was supposed to just be a two minute video and so I kept cutting out from the video mm -hmm. and it was the first video to do or anything to edit so mm -hmm. this was an obstacle I faced but I think it actually taught me to like the entire process taught me stuff. Okay so uh, do you have anything you would tell to people who are going through the same process? I would say just go for it because I never thought in a million years that I would go through what I went through or like the competition, the, the events I've actually been to. So I would just say go for it and even if you feel like you're hesitant, um, like do it and be yourself, express yourself in the way you feel most comfortable and I think this really pays off. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. It was such a pleasure having such an outstanding figure today with us to inspire those who are hesitant of taking the first step towards changing their lives. Thank you so much, Habiba, for Thank being with us today. Me.